Hi, welcome to the small shed. This Saturday I've got a spindle to make for a, a mate at the railway club. See you in a minute. Now, a week or so ago, one of my uh, Model Railway buddies put up a, a post on our WhatsApp group, uh, or the, oh, it was the email, I think, saying, did anybody know of anybody who got the means and ability to turn him some couple of spindles? And I emailed back um, saying that I'd got probably got the means, but whether I'd got the ability would be remain to be seen. Um, and he said he'd send me a drawing and essentially all it is it's the rollers out of um, a, an embroidery frame that, that roll the embroidery from one end to the other so if, effectively it's a standard spindle with just two grooves cut in it one at each end and then a frame clamps them with a pair of wing nuts on at each end and he sent me this through and I looked at it and I thought fine that's got to be easy even within my capabilities there are a couple of uh, problems to that firstly I'd got a lathe but I hadn't got a chuck in it and secondly I hadn't got any wood turning tools but they were minor problems that were to be solved in the future first of all was to find out what he wanted so um, I've got the timber for the spindles I think I'll have a look at that in a minute I think I've got the chuck as well we'll have a look at that in a minute as well uh, but then of course I realized that the length he'd shown me which was 450 470 mil I think which was the length of the spindles was far too long for my lathe and I decided that at the time I could do some sort of a sketchy job by holding it in the chuck at one end and doing a turning an inch or two away from it and leave the rest of the material spinning round at the other end or maybe support it in some way I'd worry about that when I got to it um, and then I happened to see a post on Woodworking UK somebody was asking how they put a point on the end of a, a dowel and somebody just threw in amongst the comments uh, do it on a circular saw and then it dawned on me that I could actually cut these rebates for that's all they are in the timber on that router jig that I made the other week so unfortunately that means that the hundred and whatever it is I paid for a new chuck is probably uh, well it's not not pointless but it, certainly there was no point in getting it this quickly never mind let's have a look and see what we've got in the post first unwrap that and then i'll get on to making this spindle or this pair of spindles up so they're 19 mil diameter which is what was needed anyway so there's no need for me to turn the length of the spindle down at all you needed a pair and through um bodger fashion I've ordered four because I'll probably cock one or two up but that's it I've got oak spindles on the basis that if nothing else the material will come in for something in the future when I showed the lathe at the last um, when I first got it I had a reply from Stuart who has suggested the best chuck I could get and whilst I didn't entirely agree with him there is a bit of logic to what he said um, it's a record powered jig uh, chuck that's got a collar in it that you can adapt or you can buy adapters to fit any size lathe he said I'd need it for when I upgraded the lathe. Um, that's the bit I disagree with. I, I can't see, and I may be proved wrong, and he can laugh at me then, as to whether or not I'll ever want to upgrade the lathe, because I've got the services of a bigger one at Men in Sheds. I haven't really got room in here for anything bigger. 
and so far although I've done a bit of wood turning I'm you know it hasn't grabbed me as something that's going to take over my life so essentially you've got a chuck insert which should screw onto the lathe and then the actual chuck itself screws onto the insert forge your chuck record SC4 that just screws into there and then that part screws into the lathe so I need to go away and study that a bit more read all about it get that out but um, fortunately or unfortunately I won't be needing to do any turning at the moment for this one no problem let's get on with these dowels you can see the problem that I've got with the tail stock on even as far back as it will go I can't get that in if I've got a stop set up there and something I don't know what to basically locate the dowel on the other side like that I can essentially do what you would do with the circular saw, same sort of thing, run this through the router at the right height and if I rotate that then it should give me a circle cut all the way around it, take it in very thin passes, I haven't got to take much out of this and then however long that will do the inside cut of where I want and however wide the rebate's got to be I'll just put a stopper a uh, spacer in there just to space it further across and then go back and do the same thing again and that should do me a groove right width right depth held the site more safely and slightly more or slightly less sketchily than um, I was in thinking about doing it uh, which is not really the right way to do it this is probably not ideal but without a much bigger lathe um, and stuck without the ability to go and use the other lathe down at Men in Sheds that's the way I'm going to proceed at the moment can't believe that I built this jig for one specific job I didn't think I'd be using it again for a while this is in fact the third project that I've used it on in about three weeks so it's proving to have been a worthwhile effort um, I'm just putting a stop on it's a 19 mil dowel got a couple of bits of um, Bare scrap ply, put that on and if I put them on the right place it might help and then uh, we can get the, the holder done for the dowel I must make myself a burnisher one day on the lathe just to do this smoothing down all the while tape I'm using the accelerator put that in the right place to squeeze it hold it down and then I'll put another one on there which will just give me something that will hold the dowel or it will locate it without actually uh, holding it seizing it up effectively I want it to be able to rotate put that in there, that's it so that now allows me to put the dowel in allows me to rotate it but it doesn't allow it to escape
by no means perfect but I think we are well on the way to having a solution I think smaller passes, lighter passes with less depth on the cut we'll set the jig up to do a proper one and we'll have a go on the other end just carried out the first modification to the router sled you couldn't find the top of the router bit in relation to the sled because the sled obscured the hole that you wound the uh, the thing up and down I've just actually now drilled a hole or cut the holes through so I can do that and adjust it to suit and then I've marked on there what is effectively ground zero for that level and as long as I only go up in one full turn which is a millimeter or half a turn I can judge from that how far up into the dowel I'm going so I'm going to take it up one first full turn right after a lot of messing around I think we've got there we've got 13.63 13.67 13.68 13 it's sort of around the 13.6 wood is not that easy to get exactly there but that's okay we've got a 25 mil slot got 25.4 that's fine and it's 20 mil from the end 20 point three from the end so that's great all I need to do now is repeat that on two more brand new spindles that are slightly longer than that So there we are, they're not perfect, but they are what is required, they're the right size. Need to just get those off in the post now to my colleague, and at least we've got him out of a hole. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video, hope it was of use to you. So hope for, hopefully we'll see you next week, and I look forward to seeing you then. Take care, bye!